going to use polyurethane caulking to actually kind of fill this railing in. Oh, it's not going to be painted. Your best friend here is this up. That's how it don't stick to your finger. And you can kind of form it, the polyurethane caulking with the dish So I'm going to go ahead and caulk this up. I'm just going to fill in the gap here. And when this dries, it'll make a nice surface. And you can see we have a large gap here. But caulking will fill that all in. Okay, even not here, you can see how bad that is. How much of a gap there is. When we're done, you won't even know it's there. Okay, now we're going to go into our gisso. Just put a little bit on your finger, and you can actually form this. And it won't stick to your finger. Now this polyurethane caused in the roof of black thing. That's probably the best way to get it in black. But I'm sure they sell different colors of polyurethane. But it is a very durable caulking. Especially for outside. It's better than latex or silicone. Because this can be painted over. Silicone can and it's much more normal than your, your latex. It's just nice how you can form it. You can see very little is on your finger. Just a little bit. And we filled up that area, that big area where we had. We filled that in. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and fill in the rest of the big areas. And, and that's how you can use uh, polyurethane caulking to uh, patch in metal or fix a handrail or use patch your gunners. Um, Anything exterior that you need to fill in a gap that you need to uh, fill in a large space, you kind of need to form it with your finger. Thank you.